Hey guys, Jonathan at uh, Country Boy Customs here. Uh, real quick update, right quick. But, none of that made sense. But a uh, small little update here on the uh, Cranky Nation Dragster 56 F100 pickup. Uh, as you guys can see, I got this fuel cell up here, which is actually inspiration from Dr. Cranky's calendar. I'm there. And uh, I've been using this. I got the uh, dates written down. The 19th is a Saturday. Started the F-150 Sport Track uh, with my mother. Saturday the 26th, start F-100 uh, Hot Rod Truck. Um, oh, then it's pointing right here because Dr. Cranky's in the way there. Tuesday, uh, 29th, was the uh, first update on the hot rod. Well, uh, let me change this here, because today is the first. I just got home a little while ago, so don't blame me. Let's see what the new picture is. Arr. Here's the uh, new one for February. Biomic 300. I remember when he built that. That's a crazy looking car. Anyways, oh, have I been upside down the whole time? Whole time? But uh, yeah, it's January. Man, I said he's an inspiration for that. The fuel cell up here. Um. And uh, here's an update on this truck. I've got two of these kits now, and uh, I mentioned in one video I had to make a video, but uh, I get a present one day, so let's do that. And I have two of these the Dream Rides by Monogram Dodge Ram VTS pickup. Yeah, it's a Dream Rides. I have two of these, it comes with the Magnum V10. But, uh, it's like a 1500 with a V10, but, uh, my modifications I'm doing, I'm putting a, uh, 5.9 Cummins 24 valve turbo diesel, and, uh, here's my update on it. Do you guys recognize these little babies? These are from the 1956... F100, because I'm not going to use them on my hot rod, so, in my opinion, they look perfect. They don't, uh, they don't come out like a normal one would, but, like, they don't, like, uh, how do, how do I, I gotta put this down somewhere so I can show you. But, uh, Unlike a normal dually, it'd be, it'd have a slope, like, coming out, like, it'd start earlier, and then extend out slightly, then there'd be the gap, and then it'd go in, not just a straight out and curve, but, uh, kind of makes it a little more beefier looking, and kind of pissed off look, um, just kind of throwing things out there right now because I'm a little excited about this. This is a wide body truck now. Yep, so that's the update. Uh, I got a lot of suspension work to do because she's going to have a, a pretty, like maybe a four, five, yeah, maybe like a five inch lift down the scale. I don't know exactly what that'd be. I have to do some measurements and calculations and whatnot so uh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible I'll be putting out that video right now okay. of the uh, mm -hmm. the presents I got so uh, I'll talk to you guys later bye bye